on, on to sport now. Congleton High School's under-15 girls football team last night narrowly lost 3-2 to St. Bede's from Blackburn in the PlayStation Schools Cup semi-final. They played in front of 350 people and can be very proud of their achievement. Some of the girls in action last night were playing for the under-13 girls at Congleton High School last year. A team which became Premier League champions after winning a Premier League school tournament at Anfield. We have followed them every step of the way. Hello and welcome to Anfield today for the Premier League Schools Tournament. It's one of the biggest days in Congleton High School's PE history with Congleton High's under 13 girls taking part in a tournament. They're in a group with Reading, Fulham, Norwich and West Ham. Let's see how they've done in the group stage. Stokes' first match of the tournament was against Reading. Emma Nisbet scored the only goal of the match when she scored after Amy Rogers' shot hit the post. Stokes' next game was against Fulham. Amy put CHS in front with her half volley. Holly Massey then doubled CHS' lead when her shot from outside the area found the net. Stokes' penultimate game of the group was against West Ham. Holly Massey drawed her low shot into the bottom corner which put Stoke one up. CHS managed to hold on to their one goal lead. The final was against Aston Villa. The girls walked out of the Anfield Tunnel to the Liverpool Anthem, You'll Never Walk Alone. The final needed extra time to separate the two teams though and the goal came when a clearance from Bennett wasn't dealt with by the Villa defence and a neat flicked header by Holly Massey deflected the ball past the keeper. CHS held firm to clinch a 1-0 victory and the trophy which was presented by the chairman of the Premier League, Sir Dave Richards, as well as Liverpool FC players Jordan Henderson and Luca. So we're just easier to referee, youngsters or professionals? Hey, professionals, definitely. With the youngsters, you get the parents and the teachers having to go at you. Professionals, it's okay. No, seriously, uh, the youngsters, they're well behaved. This tournament, really well behaved. So you just said that they're well behaved. Are you, are you impressed by the standard of football and the girls' behaviour on the pitch? Yeah, but girls and boys, they've both really yeah. been behaved really good. There's been no yellows, no reds, no fighting, so... Uh, Excellent behaviour, both sets of teams. What about the standard of football, being impressed by that? Yeah, um, there's some really, really good teams and there's some teams not as good as them, but overall the standard's been really good. If there's anybody out there wanting to become a, re a referee, what is a typical week like as a referee? Uh, Monday you get up about 12 and then do what you want till about 6. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday the same and then just do the game on Saturday. No, it's truthful. <laughs> Monday... We normally cover the day if we've got a game Saturday or Sunday. Tuesday train, we normally have Wednesday off. Thursday train, Friday train, and even go down to your game if it's far away. Saturday game, and then Sunday off with the family. So it's hard? It's really, really hard. I'd be a PE teacher than a referee, I tell you. It's, it, PE teacher's a lot easier. Since we call Premier League champions last May, they've been living the life of a professional. They have been recorded by Match of a Day, the parade of the trophy in front of 25,000 Stoke fans at the Tanya Stadium. They've also been invited to watch England play in the posh seats and they are now through to the semi-final of the PlayStation Schools Cup. So I'm joined by two of the players who scored at Anfield, Emma Nisbet and Amy Rogers. So what was it like scoring the same pitch as players like Torres, Gerard, Suarez and Sturridge? It was very good. It was very, like, not inspirational but it just felt good because it like all the fans cheering and all our team, our teammates, our classmates, it's just a really nice feeling. So what was been the best part of this experience? Anfield. Yeah. Anfield, yeah, I'd say Anfield. So with all our classmates there with us. So Amy, what what has the re reaction been been like, like at school? It was quite big and everyone wanted to come along and watch us but so everyone was like piling up to you, wanting to come. <laughs> And just before you scored the win in the final, you were lying motionless on the floor after a heavy challenge. What's going through your mind at this point? And can you talk us through through the goal as well? I can't really recall what happened um, with um, the tackle. It was just, I don't know, I, was, I think I was in quite a lot of pain. It's just, got to get on with it really. It was nil nil, so you've got to find a winner from somewhere. What was it like leaving the team out at Anfield and lifting a Premier League trophy? Quite a good feeling, I guess. Um, um, I, I think we were just proud as a team, and we had a lot of support, and a lot of the teachers and like other pupils were proud of us. So. And you obviously play for Manchester United and England. What do you think makes this Hong Kong High girls team so successful and so special? 
just we've all got such a good bond. Uh, we all get on great as friends and teammates. Um, so it's, it's just teamwork, really. We get on uh, so well. We we know what to do. We know each other's play. So it, it's, when it comes to match day, it works out. Luckily. I'm 